Hi there. In this video, we continue with our discussion on Amazon Web Services Virtual Private Cloud Components. We will go over what is a VPN gateway and what is the AWS Direct Net gateway. Both these gateways serve one simple main use case category, which is to allow you to connect your Amazon VPC to your on-premises network. We will first cover what a site-to-site -site VPN gateway is and what it solves. The site-to-site -site VPN gateway helps you to connect your on-premises network with your Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. There are two main components of a VPN gateway. There's the VPN gateway, which is the AWS side of your VPN connection. And then there is the customer gateway which is your on-premises network side of the VPN connection. There are two types of VPN gateways. One is a virtual private gateway and the other is a transit gateway. We will cover more detail about what the two type of gateways do. A VPN connection created using a virtual private gateway helps you to connect only a single virtual private cloud to your on-premises network. A VPN connection using a virtual private gateway only supports IPv4 traffic. The virtual private gateway connection is flexible enough such that you can support connectivity between a single VPC to a single corporate data center or your on-premises network, or the virtual private gateway can connect to multiple on-premises network that you may have. A transit gateway is more like a hub. And using a transit gateway, unlike the virtual private gateway, the transit gateway allows you to connect multiple virtual private clouds to your on-premises network. The transit gateway supports both IPv4 and IPv6 traffic, unlike the virtual private gateway, which supports only IPv4 traffic. And the transit gateway is flexible enough to support a one-to-one -one connection between either multiple VPCs to a single corporate data center or multiple VPCs to multiple corporate data centers. One important feature of a site-to-site -site VPN gateway is that it is inherently highly available. Each site-to-site -site VPN connection consists of two tunnels and each tunnel terminates in a separate availability zone. If one tunnel were to become unavailable, the network traffic automatically is routed from your on-premises network to the other tunnel, into the other availability zone. With this kind of configuration, your VPN connection is automatically highly available. Now let's move over to Direct Connect gateways. Now let's go over your AWS Direct Connect Gateway. Our AWS Direct Connect Gateway also serves the main use case category of helping you to connect your AWS account with your on-premises network. The difference between a Direct Connect Gateway and your Site-to-Site -site VPN Gateway is your Site-to-Site -site VPN Gateway connects your VPC to your on-premises network via the internet. A Direct Connect Gateway, however, is a connection between your AWS account and your on-premise center using a physical Ethernet fiber optic cable from AWS. This allows you to connect your virtual private cloud using the physical Ethernet fiber optic cable and connect with your on-premises network. This ensures that instead of suffering from low bandwidth and high latency from using a VPN, you now are able to circumvent those problems and enjoy higher bandwidth and lower latency from using a Direct Connect Gateway. Now let's go over what are the various components of AWS Direct Connect. There are two important terminologies for the exam. First is Direct Connect Connections and the second are Virtual Interfaces. There are two types of AWS Direct Connect Connections that you do with your on-premises network. One is a dedicated connection, the other is called a hosted connection. 
A dedicated connection is a physical Ethernet connection associated with only a single customer. Its physical connection between your network port and an AWS network port inside an AWS Direct Connect location. A hosted connection is, on the other hand, you connect to one of the AWS Direct Connect delivery partner ports and they help you to connect your on-premises network to your AWS VPC via their Direct Connect delivery partner ports. The virtual interfaces, there are two types. One is a private virtual interface and the other is a public virtual interface. The private virtual interface is used to access an Amazon VPC using a private IP address and it is mainly used to connect your AWS virtual private cloud with your on-premises network. A public virtual interface, on the other hand, allows your on-premises network to access all other AWS public services using a public IP address. A transit virtual interface should be used to access one or more Amazon VPC transit gateways associated with Direct Connect gateways, which we'll cover in the next slides. Now let's go over AWS Direct Connect Gateway connections via virtual private gateways and transit gateways. In this video, we will go over AWS Direct Connect Gateway with a virtual private gateway connection. As explained in previous slides, a virtual private gateway is used to connect only a single virtual private cloud in your region. Your AWS Direct Connect Gateway acts as a hub and it allows your multiple or single on-premises data networks to connect with multiple or a single virtual private gateway. The benefit of a direct connect gateway connection with virtual private gateways is that you can then connect your on-premises network to various virtual private clouds across different regions. Kindly note that a direct connect gateway with a virtual private gateway connection only connects private virtual interfaces which means you can only connect your on-premises network to your VPC but not to other AWS services which require a public virtual interface. Now, a AWS Direct Connect Gateway with a Transit Gateway gives you the added benefit of a hub connecting with another hub. Your AWS Transit Gateway helps connect multiple VPCs in a single region. With your AWS Direct Connect Gateway, you can connect one or many other on-premises networks to your Direct Connect Gateway, which can connect to your AWS Transit Gateway. One important point to note is that the AWS Transit Gateway connection with the Direct Connect Gateway only happens via a transit virtual interface. Now let's go over AWS Link Aggregation Groups, also known as Direct Connect LAGs. The benefit of a link aggregation group is to allow you to connect your multiple on-premises network which could be spread out across the country and these versus these multiple on-premises networks can connect to a single direct connect gateway which can connect directly to a single virtual private gateway or multiple virtual private gateways and help allow your multiple AWS, sorry, your multiple on-premises network to connect to your VPC as well as other AWS services. So for clients with multiple on-site premises that need to be connected to your AWS account via Direct Connect, you can use the aggregation offered from Link Aggregation Group. Finally, let's go over the differences between site-to-site -site VPN and AWS Direct Connect and know which are the important points for the exam. First, the underlying means to connect. A site-to-site -site VPN uses the internet to connect, whereas the direct connect uses a physical Ethernet fiber optic cable provided from AWS to create the connection between your on-premises network to your AWS account. In terms of cost, the site-to-site -site VPN is of course a lower cost option, but has lower performance compared to direct connect. Direct Connect is ideal for large download requirements that exceed the bandwidth offered by the internet. In terms of security, AWS Site-to-Site -Site VPN, the data in transit is always encrypted. 
However, there are some security concerns as network traffic travels via the internet. With Direct Connect, data in transit is not encrypted. However, it is still highly secure because the network traffic travels via AWS network and it never touches the public internet. The public internet. Thus, it is a preferred choice for clients that require higher security as part of regulatory requirements. In terms of bandwidth and latency, your network traffic on a side-to-side -side VPN may suffer from bandwidth problems when the internet connection is poor. However, with Direct Connect, there are no bandwidth problems and it provides low latency. An important point is, in terms of the time to set up, side-to-side -side VPN is quicker and faster compared to Direct Connect, which requires an installation with an experienced team. A very important point is high availability. Side-to-side -side VPN ensures high availability by default by using two tunnels that span across availability zones. And in case one tunnel is unavailable, then there is a failover and the data is passed over to the other active tunnel into the other active availability zone. A direct connect connection, however, is not inherently highly available. AWS advises to avoid relying on a single on-premises device connecting to a single AWS direct connect device. For more details, you can read about this on this URL. The final point of difference between side-to-side -side VPN and Direct Connect is that in terms of IPv4 and IPv6 connectivity, a virtual private gateway only supports IPv4 connectivity and a transit gateway supports both IPv4 and IPv6. A Direct Connect supports both IPv4 and IPv6. This brings us to the end of our video tutorial. In our next video, we will go over the final essential VPC components, which are your VPC endpoint and your VPC parent connection. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button and do subscribe for more tutorials on AWS Solution Architect Associate Exam. Wish you best of luck for your cloud career journey. Thank you.